Now there is a backswing. Right, morning guys, and welcome to a very windy Belfry Hotel. Yeah, so this morning we're at the, at the Belfry for a coaching conference, um, but we've got a bit of time beforehand, so we can train the PJ Life 365 fashion. We're going to go on a putting green. A little go on a putting green, uh, yeah, and in honours of Sergio's win last night at the Masters, which was amazing by the way, we're going to do a little bit on the putting green about starting lines. Yeah, so picking a starting line, go with it. Regardless of the outcome, just stick with the Just stick it, exactly. Right, so let's get going. Whoa, that sounded oh. good. Triangle across here, that now Simon can now just work through that whole shot on the way back and on the way through. Look at that. Right guys, okay, so Adam's got a little putt in here coming down to this flag here. So what you see and how are you going through this process for this putt? So for me, it's it's slightly off the right putt. So we, we're looking for maybe a, a ball to have a break in here. Yeah. But as we said, with my routine before, I'm actually looking at something down in here. So I'm picking something on that line. Yeah. So something here that I'm going to try and roll that over. So I'm going to start it down that line that okay. I picked. Right, so let's see it then. So I'm going to get right in here so you can really see how Adam's going through the process of this putt. So you've got a point just about three inches in front of the ball? No, it's a bit closer than that? Yeah. Oh, literally an inch in front of the ball. Just going to roll it over that spot. So regardless of the outcome, he has trusted that. We'll take that. Yeah, Good start. Yeah. <laughs> but that, this is the whole point of this process, is just to, to pick something and to see what happens. Yeah, and I think it's one of those things whether the outcome's good or bad, you've picked that point and yeah. gone through it and rolled it over that spot and that's what you've chosen you've actually hit the putt you wanted to hit so regardless of whether it goes in it's one of those things you've still hit a good putt some people get really fixed on the outcome so if it will say a putt to the top of the screen mm. if I've rolled it over that spot and it's it's gone within two three feet that's still a good putt yeah. I've still hit it over the point yeah. I wanted to yeah. so you've done all you set out to do at that point mm. Just you can't ask for anything more, can you? It's, it's an imperfect surface, exactly. Again, so if it hits somebody that shoots it offline, it's not your fault, exactly. Now, we are here, like we say, at the Belfry, one of the best manicured golf courses around. And have a little look at this as Adam putts. Right, watch this ball as it rolls. You know, he's hit a really good putt there, but it's like we've always said, it's on an imperfect surface. <laughs> always going to roll exactly how you want it to there is going to be a chance that it's going to bobble and bounce and move around um, and remember we're only ever estimating at this point whenever we're hitting putts we're only ever guessing what might happen you always hold it a second time don't you yeah <laughs> should have read it the first time <laughs> right so let's just see you hit a longer putt to finish this off and basically it's, it's going to be the same process so let's go up to this one just over here from here yep yeah, so this one just straight in front of you so have a little take time read it properly and we're going to just listen to you, you're going to talk us through what's going on in your head and what you're seeing. So for me, obviously, I take, try and take in everything around me. So now yeah. this, this area up here is a lot higher than this area down here. So it's obviously going to move from left to right. It's now up the slope as well. So yeah. It's sat above me. I'd now be looking to go below the, on my low side to make sure I've got that reaffirmed that I've got it completely right. Yeah. So how much you visualize where, I'll, where I'm going to see that? I tend to see like a solid line on the, on okay. the floor. I can visualize that line and how much yeah. I think it's going to break. So to me, there's a little. I'm just going to walk up here. There's a little speck just here. I'm just going to point at it. Yeah. There. So are you seeing when you're looking at this putt? Are you seeing a solid line that goes past that point? Yeah, I'm quite I'm a way it, left yeah, of that. I'm seeing it quite a bit left of that. Exactly. So, so I'm seeing it quite a bit left out. I, I tend to die putts in. Yes. You tend to be a bit, bit firmer. A bit firmer normally myself. So it's one of those things. I tend to see, a, see this a little bit further left, but yeah, solid line all the way there. Okay, me. right, let's see it then. Take your time, routine. Let's see if you can drop it in or at least give yourself a nice tap in for the second putt, which from this distance is really the main aim. Yeah, a really good read, just didn't quite come down the slope for yeah, you. It's one of those things that, like, yeah, I've probably 
over borrowed there but prefer to do that than see it die and go down that slope yeah if it gets halfway to the hole and is already lower the hole it can't go in it hasn't, hasn't got a chance so no. yeah i've over borrowed there but it's one of those things i'm pretty happy just go up and tap late. exactly so guys as always i hope you enjoyed that that was an interesting little uh, insight into how you go about looking yeah and i think butts. i think we're quite similar in, in what we what we do in terms of how we go through that process you're mm. you're sort of looking a bit further in front to, yes. to try and roll something over i try and take the the whole technique side of things mm. out which you don't struggle with but it's one of those things i've struggled with it with my putting so i try and take that route that out of the routine completely yeah. look at a spot rather than the ball it doesn't make me focus on the putt ahead at mm. all and then go at it from there exactly so comment below guys tell us how you go about reading greens and if you ever want any help let us know yep. we're there in the comments below we will help you out as best we can so guys thank you very much for watching guys if you haven't already just hit the subscribe button that'll be the circle in the middle of us in a minute that'll get us all get you actually mm -hmm. all of our content free of charge as soon as we upload it indeed we'll always pop a couple of videos here and here and if you do click the little bell icon when you subscribe to the channel you'll know when we go live which we're going to do a lot more of definitely so we shall see you very soon and if you haven't come down to the belfry yeah. he's stunning yeah very very good resort yeah well worth the trip yeah very good value as well for what you get so yes. let's give you a quick 360 and we'll see you very soon he's going to go tap that in now look at that and the sun is shining we're in england it's beautiful.